Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? It's Shani with Healing Elements. Sending you guys tons of positive vibes as always. And I am just adding again to my podcast and YouTube channel, the playlist all about spirit animals. And today also wanted to shout out another really, really cool, cool soul family member. She commented and was the inspiration for another video the spirit animal of the goose. And she also had recommended and inspired me to do this spirit animal video. This is all about the lamb or the sheep spirit animal, the spirit of the lamb. So guys, this is a very beautiful, gentle, pleasant, slow paced and soft type of energy. So if you resonate with the spirit animal of the lamb or sheep, it is a beautiful way about you that you have with gentleness. Often, you know, sleep, counting sheep is associated things that are passive, pleasantries of peace. Babies are often associated with the lamb or sheep. And so you carry around this very gentle nature and are very pleasant and very kind at all times, not hyperactive, very much taking your time. And that presents something that is beautiful for people to recognize to do that age old saying, stop and smell the roses or graze like a sheep would, right? Also, this um, symbolism with the lamb or sheep spirit is somewhat of a vulnerable vibe. You know, they, they say the sacrificial lamb, right? You know, when you are so gentle, peaceful, and calm kind and likable by nature, of course, just like the lamb um, is sacrificed often to be eaten by humans or, you know, in the Bible, they called um, Jesus in Christianity, the sacrificial um, lamb of God, someone who had come in their religion to put his self in a vulnerable position and sacrifice for the greater good. That is what they believe. So it's associated definitely with vulnerability, softness in a very noble way, though. Remember, vulnerability is noble. To be vulnerable is to be very authentic and honest, which this spirit animal of the lamb or sheep represents as well. And of course, the lamb spirit is all about group efforts, team efforts, the herd, so to speak, you know, definitely group oriented and wanting to remain as, you know, a together intact unit. And so, of course, being so gentle by nature, it sometimes is pleasant and good for your soul to be around, of course, kindred spirits who are in the same vibe as you. And, you know, sometimes if you're around, if you resonate with the spirit animal of the lamb, people who are too excitable or hyper in nature, it can drain you. So you love to be in the herd of soul family members who are pleasant as well and peace driven as well. Also, this is a big meaning of, you know, resourcefulness. So the lamb spirit animal people, if you resonate, you're very resourceful. You can make use out of many things that you have on hand. Picture the lamb and the lamb's wool, you know, grown over and over to be sure to provide, you know, warmth, clothes for others. Um, You also can be one of the spirit animal people that can be a scapegoat or the quote unquote pinata of the family or of the social group, you know, getting pinned for things that are definitely not your doing. That saying the wolf in sheep's clothing, people can assume that you are and you are not. You're nothing um, but a passive, docile, you know, peaceful and demeanor type of person if you resonate with the spirit. Also, um, this spirit animal has very sacred inferences regarding, you know, divine blessings in multiple you know, religious sects, um, even shamans. It's literally, again, going back to the Christian, every group, of course, will have a different mythology or religion or belief-based system, but basically this sacred honor, it is a noble sacred honor for you in your role you play in your life to give up your life 
for the world or others, you know, very, very sacred. And one of those people I picture, maybe a soldier and the grenade comes into, you know, their area and you being of lamb spirit animal energy would jump on the grenade and let it take you out instead of taking all 12 of the people out. So it's a very sacred, divine, sacrificial energy with the lamb spirit. You also may carry burdens. Speaking of, you know, being a scapegoat or the wolf in sheep's clothing, you may be expected to carry or just it's pinned on you to carry burdens, which are not yours to bear. So keep that in mind and always reflect upon that. Hopefully it will not be too um, you know, bogged down for you to do so throughout your life. You're often pinned, you know, I say that because you're pinned for kind of deviant, malicious, blasphemous things when you are completely innocent. So that is a big symbolism behind the lamb or sheep spirit animal. Also, just like lambs in nature are very curious, affectionate, very adorable, and deliberately cautious yet very curious and not skittish or afraid. Definitely that rings true for your personality. Also communal living because of the herd and peaceful harmony within that communal setting. And you are willing to, you know, go toward a specific herd, let's say, or a soul family tribe member group. You definitely are willing to leave those that are not peaceful i.e. the wolf that was found to have sheep's clothing, let's say, metaphorically, and eliminate that presence from around you, whatever that means to you and how you need to do it, you'll do it. Um, you're able to take direction, being one that resonates with the lamb spirit and guidance very beautifully. So think about ancient sheep herders or sheep herders currently. Um, sheep were actually one of the first animal types to be domesticated by humans and are very agreeable to direction, of course, and the shepherds' um, vocalizations and or cues and are ready to work together as long as that shepherd gives them the peace of mind of what they need, which is peaceful interaction, grazing, having babies, being lighthearted, etc. So just in the same way that you can take guidance or instruction beautifully, um, like the sheep in nature can be led pleasantly, the sheep can also be misled. So you could perhaps, if you resonate with the spirit of the lamb, be misleaded often purposefully and deceived, uh, you know, to the detriment of you into alternative pasture. So keep that in mind, just a tendency to go astray if following guidance that doesn't serve you and is deceptive in nature, guys. So you also have a beautiful gift beside the lamb in nature. Having wool, the lamb also, a ram or sheep, has horns, the males, and it, this horn can be used after you find a skeleton. Of course, we don't want to use it, chop it off while the animal's alive, but there is an ability for you to speak in tones or different vibrational frequencies um, that are of higher realms if you resonate with this spirit because the horn is used off of the lamb to actually make a beautiful tone and the frequency is close to the ohm sound which is a frequency associated with meditation um you know connecting to spiritual understanding source etc a higher realm so you definitely are able to peacefully calmly step into yoga or trance or meditative hypnotic therapy things like that also big emphasis with the lamb spirit is Having balance, balance is something that you have in your life and you are able to balance and wear many hats and carry many plates upon those hats, just like the mountain goat um, spirit animal. The spirit animal of the sheep or lamb often can climb sheer ledges with grace. You can do anything with dexterity. Um, the, you know, the lamb balance the sheep on tiny hooves and they have the agility of a gymnast, like often evading predators just due to their use of the dexterity, like the goat, you know, with their poise and balance and sure-footedness to hold on to things. So you have a responsibility you feel sacred if you resonate with the spirit to hold on to things that are dear. And that's beautiful. It's commitment and a long-standing one. Definitely are someone who would love 
a long-standing committed partnership does not shy away from it. Um, also have a stronghold and never retreat from any uphill challenge or battle. You are definitely passive and peaceful. However, when a challenge is presented to you, you have a peaceful nature, not aggressive, of getting up the hill. You'll take your time effectively finding you know, space in the tiniest of ledges and climbing continuously with patience within the facets of your life, just like the lamb does vocalizing to the others, you know, a validation to all your other soul family members for encouragement as well for them to do so. So you're very helpful. And again, this unconditional, peaceful, and gentleness about you, it brings about this era of unyielding kindness that you carry around and you present to others naturally at all times. A very compassionate ear, compassionate outlook, and compassionate treatment to others, even, you know, despite if they present themselves to uh, be evil or, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing, let's say, you definitely are tactful. It's like the Buddha type of thing. You respectfully treat even the most atrocious of situations or souls that, you know, attack you with unkindness, you kill them with your kindness, not aggression. It's beautiful. And often this kindness, it's beautiful that you present to others, even when they display aggressive natures or hate-filled words. It literally, because you are so steady and, you know, really habitual about never turning an eye toward aggression, always listening with compassionate ear, and no matter how you're treated, treating people with the dignity that they deserve and you, of course, deserve, and that rubs off on them. So you often win people over by showing this condition, you know, unconditional kindness again and again. And so you can, you know, <laughs> weave those wolves in sheep's clothing into actual sheep in a passive way and have the more ferocious nature of people kind of fall off a bit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this latest video. Again, shout out Kels. I really appreciate any suggestions that you guys have. Drop me a comment. I would be more than happy if it's not on the playlist to go to work, do my free writing and journaling and research and put together, you know, my compilation, my interpretation of what the animal totem, the spirit animal energy means and what it would mean for a person who resonates with it. So guys, a lot of love, appreciation for everything that you are, for the subscriptions, for the views, for the comments, for the likes. I truly am shouting out everyone and just sending an abundance of positive vibes through my voice to yours. Blessings, love, and light, soul fam.